Rhyme Bill is now online. Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to generate a random string using JavaScript and HTML. Let's go! Alright, so here I have a simple header, random string generator, and below this I have a simple box which just has my random string. Here's what my HTML looks like. I just made sure to keep everything plain and simple. You don't need to copy down my HTML, it's just to make it look good. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is delete this random string I have in the HTML tag. And then I'm gonna go down to my script tag. And here we're gonna start coding. So in our script tag, we're gonna create a simple function. And this function, I'm gonna call it create random string. <laughs> Making sure to keep everything nice and simple. And inside this function, I'm going to have a variable. So our variable characters is going to be a string. Obviously, you can use an array for this, but to keep it simple, we're going to use a string. And then the string, we're going to have the letter A to Z. And what this means is that every letter from A to Z could have a possible chance at showing up in your random string. I say possible chance because it's randomized and you don't know what's going to be what. So whatever character you have in this string, will show up in your random strings. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're gonna iterate through our character's variable. This is why I said it could be an array, but it's easier if you make it a string. Now on top of this, we're going to create a new variable and this variable is going to be called random string and just set this equal to a blank string. Awesome. Let me explain what this line of code does. It takes our random string variable and it basically adds characters to itself from our original characters variable. So in other words, as we iterate through all the characters in our characters variable, we're going to pick one and we're just going to slap it onto our random string. And we're just going to do this for the total length of our characters variable. Don't worry, you'll see what it does in a second. Now below our for loop, we're just going to simply log out our random string. And don't forget to call this function up above. Now, whenever we refresh the page and go to our console, we can see it generating a random string. So it's picking a random letter from our characters and just adding it in a different order, which is pretty cool. All right, so what if you just needed a two letter string? What about a five letter string? What about a million letter? By the way, don't ever use a million. It just freezes your computer. But anyway, if you wanted to add a cap to the string length, what you can do is to pass in a parameter in our function. Just call it string length. And then we're going to simply change characters.length to our parameter value. Perfect. All right, so let's just clean up our code a little bit just to make it look cooler. Perfect. So now that we can generate random strings, we can use this for creating unique IDs, passwords, unique IDs, very, very unique IDs. Basically, you just can make random strings. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And finally, for the HTML portion of this tutorial, I'm just gonna set the inner HTML of our string box equal to a random string. That's it.
awesome. And now we can see our random string showing up in our HTML box instead of the console. And it's that simple. And that's it guys. That's how to generate a unique and random string in JavaScript and HTML. And that's it guys, until next time, rhyme below, woo!